This war in Israel continues to unfold. We have all been exposed to countless images of conflict and devastation, which can be particularly distressing for young children. Dr. Robin Goodman is a licensed clinical psychologist. She joins us now to help explain what parents and schools can do to help their children. Good morning. Good morning. Should parents bring up the news or should they wait for their children to ask them about it? You know, I think there's a couple of main principles you can think about. One is that you should be the source of information and you should also be the source of support for your child. So depending on the age, you want to have a different kind of conversation and you want to approach it and open it up in different ways. How for do you, sure. How do you help children make sense of the media coverage happening right now? I think with very young children, we're talking preschool and around that age, you want to see if they've heard anything, but you want to shield them from the media. They get confused that it's happening right outside their door. So you can reassure them um, that you're safe. Um, people are trying to hurt each other, and that's no way to solve a problem. When you get to the school age, then you really want to say, what have you heard? You want to find out from them. Open-ended questions are the best. And then you want to explore that social media. Investigate it. Look at history. When you get to teens, it's a very different situation. And you have to remember, you are a model. So when you're consuming the news all the time and you're upset by the news all the time, then they are seeing that as well. So with teens, you want to explore what they're looking at, analyze it with them, research it. What are they thinking about it? And maybe all of you thinking about how to do a balanced media diet, especially for this kind of news. Are there any resources you've encountered to help parents explain all of this to children? I think, you know, you have to go to your trusted resources. And again, with teens, you sometimes want to look at all the sides that lo they're looking at so you can talk about opinions and information and facts. But then there's different things for different ages, right? So Nickelodeon or Sesame Street for those younger kids. Um, and then there's, you know, the National Child Traumatic Stress Network has a lot of resources about talking to kids. They've inv been involved with helping families, you know, for unfortunately for decades when there's war and there's conflict and trauma that kids and families are facing. Dr. Goodman, thank you so much for taking some time to talk to us. We appreciate it. Thank you. And if you would like to find more resources, we do have a link on our website at cbsnewyork.com.